Wednesday night during services with uh, Preacher Jay, I received a healing in my back. That was just wonderful. Through my years of pregnancy, especially when I carried my twins all the way to term, unbeknownst to me, the whole sheath of muscle that surrounds your abdomen and goes around your back was tearing. I didn't know that. With subsequent pregnancies, it tore more. And again, I didn't realize that was happening. But about 10 years ago, I had to go to a specialist who told me that I, it was torn on both sides and it was irreparable, that I had a very large abdominal hernia because of that and that my spine was moving and it was unstable and there's nothing that they could do about it. So I could literally feel my spine moving when I walked and I didn't realize that my gait was changing because my spine was moving so much. It was, uh, I was unsteady on my feet and I didn't realize that I swayed as I walked until I would see myself on videos. But Wednesday night, Preacher Jay just asked us to stand at our seats, which is proof positive. You, you don't need to be called out. Uh, he just said, place your hands where it needed healing. He began to pray. So did I. I felt the muscles around my back begin to tighten. I began to walk back and forth. I could physically feel my healing. I mean, when Pastor Luke says that Wednesday was a powerful, powerful service, it, it most definitely was. You could feel the Holy Spirit in this place. And I know the key to my healing was a fresh indwelling of the Holy Spirit. It had been moving in me all week. And it's just totally amazing the power that is available to God's people when you pray in the spirit, not asking in your own power. So I want to tell you today that I am a living, breathing testimony that my God is a God of more because he didn't simply reach down and heal my back. No, he, he didn't leave the rest of me broken. And I didn't even realize that night the things that he was doing. My hair has shed for years because of heredity. But in the last few years, it has fallen out in clumps so badly that I have to wash my hair in a sink just to catch the globs of hair. Well, not one hair has fell out since Wednesday. And that's more than I ask for. Also, my big word, I have had several skin cancers removed in the last year and a half. One was a sore spot on my ear that they did a biopsy. It was the one thing that was not skin cancer, but it was called chondrodermatitis nodularis helicus, which is just a very long word for a wound that is never going to heal. It's chronic and because I sleep on that side, it was going to be sore and awful the rest of my life. So sore that my daughter this past Mother's Day bought me a pillow with a hole in it because I could not sleep. And it was a long week for those of you who was here all the time. I, I have to admit, I didn't even realize that I just was going to bed at night, getting up at 6 a.m. Didn't realize till I went to bed last night and I really was not sleepy. And I was laying there and I thought, my ear does not hurt. And I got up this morning and I looked, there's not a scab, nothing, it's gone. And that's more than I asked for. So I just can't wait to see. I have another appointment, November 10th, with my skin cancer doctor, who is just going to be amazed yeah. because yeah. I, I don't know what else God has healed, but 
I, I just look forward every day yes. to, to finding out Lord. how he has touched me. He is a good, good God. Yes. And what he has done for me, I just need you to know, he will do for you too. Yes. So I, I was told that when you went to work the next day, people were asking why you were walking weird. This is true. I, I zoom around my office and they were uh, a little bit amazed that I didn't realize how badly that I walked, but they certainly noticed and I gave, I gave praise to Jesus. So, tell, them, tell them what you call that necklace. <laughs> This is my victory necklace. I have a lot of necklaces that hang. And for years, I walked with such a swaying motion that they would swing back and forth. And it was embarrassing. And they no longer swing, praise God. That's awesome. 